May I speak in the name of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. But if I say, I will not mention his word or speak any more in his name, his word is in my heart like a fire, a fire shut up in my bones, and I'm weary of holding it in. Indeed, I cannot. The words of Jeremiah. The French philosopher Pascal stated that there are two kinds of servant. Those who go ahead with torches to light the way and then those who follow behind carrying the bags. When Jesus sent out the twelve disciples, three times he told them not to be afraid. Do not be afraid. Jesus knew his message would be unpopular. Sacrifice and self-denial would be called for. Jesus was given a hard time. His disciples would receive the same treatment. Following Christ would involve painful sacrifices. God would be with them. However, his followers were simply to follow Christ faithfully. They were not to be afraid because God would be with them. 600 years before Jesus sent out the disciples, God commissioned the prophet Jeremiah to speak to the people with a message that he would give him. Jeremiah comes across to me as a man whose sole desire was to be faithful to the God who had called him from a very young age. Jeremiah may have been a little naive, however, in thinking that because God had called and commissioned him, that all would be plain sailing and everyone would gladly listen to him, mend their ways and turn to God. Jeremiah was ridiculed by Israel's leaders. He was physically attacked. He was flogged thrown into a muddy pit, put in the stocks. In the end, Jeremiah despaired. Ridicule had changed to retribution. Why was he not speaking an acceptable message? He was being disloyal and acting like a traitor. Jeremiah's life got dangerous and frightening. Jeremiah's trust in God's protection evaporated. Jeremiah complained that he had been duped by God. I did not expect this amount of abuse and persecution, he may well have said. I expected to speak pleasant and acceptable words, but God has given me the opposite. The words of the old song states, it's not an easy road. We're traveling to heaven, for many are the thorns on the way. It's not an easy road, but the Savior is with us. His presence gives us joy every day. And the refrain, no, no, it's not an easy road. No, no, it's not an easy road. But Jesus walks beside us and brightens the journey and lightens the heavy load. <laughs>